we're going to talk about what strumming patterns you can play to a given song. Now, if you're trying to match a recording, the best thing you can do is just listen to the recording, do the best you can to match what you hear. Otherwise, the strumming pattern is up to you. So let's talk about how you can narrow down your choices. There's no rule that says you must play such and such pattern with a given song. You can do what you want with it. Now, it helps to have a few go-to strumming patterns under your fingers in 3-4 time and in 4-4 four, four time. 4-4 four, four is more common, so let's take a look at a few standard patterns you might choose from. You could go all quarter notes all the time. One, two, three, four. Good old down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up. Down. You could add a bass note in front of that. Bass down, up, up, down. It's also hard to go wrong with boom chick or bass strum, bass strum. One, two, three, four. Boom chick, boom chick. Or boom chicka, boom chick, which is bass down, up, bass down. Let's take a look at some common 3-4 patterns, beginning with quarter note strums. One, two, three. One, two, three. Or down, down, up, down. That'll be one, two, and three. Down, down, up, down. There's also boom, chick, chick, or bass strum, strum. One, two, three. Bass, strum, strum. Boom, chick, chick. Or boom, chicka, chick. Or bass, down, up, down. One, two, and three. Once you know a few strumming patterns, the first thing you need to do is figure out what time signature your song is in. If you have a lead sheet, all you have to do is check the start of the music. If you don't have a lead sheet, you'll either have to already know the melody or you'll need to listen to a recording. So sing the melody or listen to the recording and tap along. If you can feel a strong pulse every four beats, go tell it on the mountain, then you are probably in 4-4 four, four time. And if you can feel a strong pulse every three beats, we three kings of Orient are two, three. Then you are probably in three, four time. So let's say your song is in four, four time. Sing the song and try out some patterns. See what you like, see what you don't. You can try some of the patterns I just showed you or you can use some of your own. Doesn't really matter. They just have to be in four, four time. Here we have Go Tell It on the Mountain. It's in four, four time. Let's audition those patterns that we went over. There's our all quarter note strum. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Then down, down, up, up, down. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. And then our bass down, up, up, down. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. And bass strum, bass strum. Go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. And then our bass down up, bass down, or boom chicka, boom chick. Go tell it on the mountain. For my own taste, I just like the simple boom, chick, boom, chick. Go tell it on the mountain. But you may make another decision, and that's fine. The choice is up to you. Now, the song does have another section. When there is another section in the song, it's not a bad idea to use a different strumming pattern there, just for variety. So let's audition some of those patterns in section number two. All quarter notes all the time. While the shepherds kept their watching or silent flocks by night. There's our down, down, up, up, down. While the shepherds kept their watching or silent flocks by night. 
There's our bass down, up, up, down. While shepherds kept their watching for silent flocks by night. And our boom, chick, boom, chick. While shepherds kept their watching for silent flocks by night. And boom, chick, a boom, chick. While shepherds kept their watching for silent flocks by night. For my own personal taste, I kind of like the uh, bass down, up, up, down. While shepherds kept their watching for silent flocks by night. To me, it makes a nice contrast between the boom chick, boom chick of the first section. But again, the choice is up to you. And you also may find that the pattern you chose for the first section works especially well for the second section and you prefer it there. That's fine. Do that and then re-audition some of those patterns for the first section. Pick something else. Now let's say your song is on 3-4 time. Do the same thing as before. Sing the song. Try out some patterns, either mine or yours. Doesn't matter. See what you like. Your patterns just have to be in 3-4 time. Here's We Three Kings in 3-4 time. Let's audition some patterns starting with that quarter note strum. One, two, three. We three kings of Orient are. And then down, down, up, down. We three kings of Orient are. And boom, chick, chick. We three kings of Orient are, and boom, chicka chick. We three kings of Orient are. I kind of like that last pattern, so that's probably what I would go with. But again, the choice is up to you. You could choose another one of these patterns or choose one of your own, as long as it's in 3-4 time. Now, this one also has a second section. When there's another section, try another pattern out there, just for variety. All quarter notes. One, two, three. Star of wonder, star of night. Or down, down, up, down. Star of wonder, star of night, or boom, chick, chick. Star of wonder, star of night, or boom, chick, a chick. Star of wonder, star of night. I'd probably go with the down, down, up, down in this one. Star of wonder, star of night. It's the exact same rhythm as the boom chicka chick in the earlier section, except it's all strums. And to me, at least that all strums versus having the bass note gives a, a little bit of variety. Now, again, you may decide that whatever pattern you chose for the first section works better for the section, se second section. And if it does, Fine, go back to the first section, pick out another pattern there. Also, this one has multiple verses, so you might try out different patterns for different verses, again, just for variety. Check out these videos if you're looking for strumming patterns to try. And for more guitar lessons, music theory, and solo guitar arrangements, please subscribe.